can't do this. That was so good. <laughs> What's up, friends? So, I have been getting kind of anxious with the idea of, you know, being a full adult and, like, having a full-time job and stuff. <laughs> so, with that, I am very nervous with um, not being able to read as much. And since, you know, my channel is about reading and stuff, and I love reading, obviously, I'm a little nervous with how much little time I might have, um, coming up soon with not reading. So I think I'm going to do what I did. I think back in like March, I'll have a video. I'll have the video down below if you want to watch the original one that I did. But it was a how many books I can read in 24 hours. And so it wasn't a straight 24 hours of just reading. Never doing that again. Done that before. Link down below if you want to see it. But <laughs> the video specifically is timing myself while reading until I get to 24 hours. So it could last up to a week. It could, it could last the whole month, really. But... I just want to get some incentive to kind of help me start cracking out the books before I have my job. Um, I've had the hookup plan for quite a while, so and I've been wanting to start it. So I think I'm going to finally do that. And so this is basically going to be the first read of the year. So nice. Hopefully it's good. At my supplies, because I feel like annotating... So they kind of go together with this. And I got these highlighters that are actually erasable. I'll leave it a link down below if you guys want to try them out. But yeah, there's like a little erasable thing on the end. And then just a pen and some tabs. We'll see. Um, but yeah, let us get started, I guess. And start. Hey besties, it is the next day. Last night I got to almost two hours um, on the dot and I am on page 105 of this book. So I didn't know going into this that this is an interconnected standalone. So the books right here, I've seen them at Target and I've been interested in getting them, especially the dating playbook. Um, but these are about her friends that are in this book and this is the third book. So can you read this alone? So far, I think so, but yeah. So I didn't realize that this was an interconnected standalone, but I'm really intrigued and interested in reading um, these other two so far. It's really, it's really, it's a fun read. I like the writing style of it. It's kind of closed door romance, but there was kind of a spicy -er scene, but it's not like very in detail, um, the first one I've read so far, and the other ones have mainly been um, closed door. So if you're into that, this is a good one for you. So the mood I'm in currently, it's kind of weird because I want, I like this book. I like it a lot, but I'm just not in the mood to actually read like anything. <laughs> Whether I like it or not, I'm not in the mood. I just want to watch a bunch of Scandal, even though I've seen that before. I just want to keep rewatching it. I just want to go to the grocery store and just chill out. Like, I just want to do random things. I don't really feel like reading right now. And it could be because um, the last couple uh, days in December, I was like trying to read all of the Christmas books I still had on my TBR so I didn't have to read it in January you know um so I think I was just reading so much um last week that now I'm just like burnt out when it comes to reading so that's not fun <laughs> but I am really enjoying this and I think maybe I just need to get in the mood for it so I'm also being weird about my, the coffee like I kind of want coffee but I don't want to make it like I <laughs> I don't know what it is but I guess the things I have at home right now are just not what I want but I also don't feel like going to Dutch Bros to pay for coffee so I don't really know what to do Maybe I should make some cha or chai it, you pronounce it cha in Gujarati I don't know if any other Indian language pronounces it differently than in the Hindi language. But yeah, in Gujarati it's cha, not chai. But that's it's I wanna make chai. I think I think that I think that would be good. I think I should make some uh cha and do that. Also, if you speak a different Indian language from Hindi or Gujarati, tell me if you pronounce 
cha chai <laughs> different too because right now i feel like we're just the random ones that just don't say chai we say cha <laughs> so let me know i need to know if we're in this together <laughs> That's why I just let daddy make the job because what the heck <laughs> I I literally just did a little walk around the island and all of a sudden it's just freaking overflowing <sighs> still good though could have used more ginger but <sighs> was scared I'd overpower it so okay now I'm in a reading mood what is it about like a cozy drink that just makes you want to start reading you know gotta get the am ambiance going but yeah let's start the clock again done my time for this book is five hours and 54 minutes so this book was about um 383 pages so almost six hours it took me to read which is probably a little slow maybe so yeah i did enjoy it i annotated it a little bit um i'm gonna have my review on instagram for this book if you'd like to see it but i think i give it four out of five stars I was gonna wait in the morning to do this, but but I wrote some of my TBR on some pieces of paper and put them in this vase that I have yet to get flowers for. Um, so I feel like for the next read, for this little challenge, I should pick one from here. I think I have like half of these are like physical TBR and then the other half is um, Kindle Unlimited TBR. So I say, oh, it's a Kindle Unlimited before the coffee gets cold okay i wasn't really expecting that i honestly forgot i put that in there but okay guess that's my next book i'm reading before the coffee gets cold for like 34 minutes and i didn't know this going in but it's actually originally written in japanese and got translated to english and if you guys have been following me then you know one of my bookish resolutions was to read more books that had to get translated into english because the author uh first language isn't english or they aren't an american author so Yay! <laughs> Didn't know that going in, but I'm very excited about that. I found out that it was originally a play that got turned into a book and then got translated to English. So, yeah, so far, it really does feel like I'm, like, watching a play, which is interesting. So, but it's probably since I Googled it, now I can only envision it as a play. But, yeah, it does really feel like a play. So, yeah. Um... <laughs> Excuse me, I did not sign up for tears. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I'm not even, I'm like barely 50% in. But the husband and wife story, I can't. <laughs> I can't do this. Oh my god. <laughs> I actually cried. So that means this is probably going to be a five star if you can get me to cry. What the heck, bro? I didn't sign up for all this. <laughs> all these feelings and emotions. I wasn't, I didn't know this is how this was gonna go. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I gotta go. Hi. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm 
like screaming, crying, and dying right now. I didn't realize that it would do this to me. That book. Also, I put some vines up. What the heck, bro? <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> Five stars. <laughs> this is... Wow. Before the coffee gets cold is the first five stars of the year. It took me three hours and 25 minutes to finish. So we are at a total of nine hours and 20 minutes right now. <sighs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that was so good. That was so good. I haven't had a book that just made me, that was just like a little tear jerker in a minute, you know? So I appreciate that. We love that. I'm obsessed. All right, let's pick the next story. Ooh, where there is smoke, there is fire. This is um, by a smaller author that I saw promoting her stuff on Twitter. And so I was like, I'll get it, I don't care. So, okay, I literally don't even know what this book is about, but all right. <laughs> okay, so I'm also doing a buddy read with Izzy Gomez here on YouTube. You should definitely subscribe and check her out. But I'm reading Babel with her currently. Um, that's not going to be a part of this video though because she is thick. And the purpose of this is to see how many books I can read as fast as possible in 24 hours. So why would I pick a thick book to do that, you know? So um, I'm going to go back and forth with reading Babel. Um, but I'll actually time myself when it comes to When There's Smoke, There Is Fire by Monique Fisher. Still don't know what it's about. I feel like just going in blind. So don't mind me. Hi. My hair's curly. I finally washed it. That silk press had me in a chokehold. For quite a while, I thought the curls were never going to come back. I thought I was just going to be a silk press queen for the rest of my life, but we are back. I've been reading Where There's Smoke, There's Fire for 35 minutes um, for the past, like, three days. <laughs> I've only gotten to 35 minutes in three days. I just wasn't having the motivation to, like, read it, so I decided to go on Goodreads to, like, see if like people were like raving about it or anything and a lot of the ratings i saw were like two stars so i think i'm gonna dnf it which <laughs> makes me feel real this is uh, distracting me the reflection of Haley fam in the background um <laughs> bad for dnfing it if it's because i'm not a dnfer number one um meaning did not finish i usually don't dnf books i usually like power through because i need to like know i hate it like for sure for sure in order to like continue or whatever but and i also don't want to do this for like a new author that's like kind of small but i just really like <sighs> Nothing about this story is appealing to me. I'm only 13% in, so it doesn't feel like a, uh, just like, just finish it <laughs> type of thing. Like, I've already not, I, like, I'm on chapter three, and I don't want to continue. So, <laughs> like, the only time I DNF is when it's so early on. I'm just not into it. I don't like the writing style. I'm not really intrigued with the story that much. I think I'm gonna DNF it. Sorry. <laughs> I feel really bad. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna pick something else for this challenge. I'm almost at ten hours. So let's see. Yeah, I don't wanna do that one. <laughs> Uh, I got The Great Gatsby. I am not in a classics mood right now. We're not doing that. Even though it is kind of short. I just... No. I don't want to do that. No, thank you. Let's see. Um, American Royalty. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can do that. And it's a physical TBR. So, yeah. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll get our Meghan Markle and Prince Harry if Meghan Markle was a rapper vibes going all right we're now almost at 15 hours and i have finished american royalty it took about four hours and 48 minutes so a little under five hours um i give it 
I guess four stars I'd say um, it was an interesting plot I liked the plot and, and since she's a rapper there are moments of like seeing her lyrics for songs and I always find that like cringy and cheesy for songs or poems or rap stuff anything to really be in a, a book because it's like I can't like listen to it so it just makes it cringy there is a second book I don't know if I'll read it I don't really I don't really care <laughs> to be honest um but yeah that is book number four. Third book actually completed though so yep yeah, I'm not reading that one. Um, <laughs> I got uh, the Kindle Unlimited in the Weeds, which is the second book in the Love Light Farms um, series. But the first book was kind of long for no reason, and I just don't feel like reading that. And also, I'm kind of over this video already. <laughs> I'm just sick of reading, to be honest. So I don't think I'll like anything. Yeah, Icebreaker. Should we read Icebreaker now? I guess so. Why not? We'll read Icebreaker. Honestly, this is kind of really effective, especially when you don't know what you want to read um, or if you're like not in the mood necessarily for a specific thing. I highly recommend this. But hey, there's my bra. Um, anyways, <laughs> so I only have like four left in here now um, and I think I started with like nine or ten. So yeah, doing pretty good. We're gonna read Icebreaker and see if it's worth the hype because that one got really hyped up on TikTok and stuff. So you know what? I didn't think I'd be in the mood for it, but the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm like, yeah, let's freaking read it, bro. <laughs> so <laughs> JK, I got a notification from Libby that I can finally start reading Crying in H Mart and it's shorter than Icebreaker. So I'm gonna read that instead <laughs> and I've also been waiting like a few months for this book so we're gonna do that instead everything I said about you know picking a name out of the jar being effective I still stand by it but you know you gotta do what what you really want to do at the end of the day and what I really want to do is read shorter books okay H Mart is like almost 200 pages shorter than icebreaker which first of all can we talk about that for a second because who do you think you are making a romance book over 400 pages what <laughs> i'm sorry did i read that correctly <laughs> no because crying in h mart is a literal memoir and it's less than 300 make that make sense to me how someone can write their life story in less than 300 pages and you want to write a whole romance in more than 400 babes this is a hot take but if you're a romance writer and your book is over 400 pages you need to get an editor because what what are you talking about <laughs> I, I i loathe romance books that are over 400 pages so another reason why i'm reading crying in H Mart instead. It's also very windy outside. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if anyone feels that way about romance books, but it just feels like, for what? Like, why are you, why are you so damn long? And that's why I still have yet to read any Mariana Zapata books. Because what do you mean? What do you mean they don't even hold hands till like 200 pages in? What are you talking about? Get out of my face. You know? I'm very passionate about this actually <laughs> i just feel like if if you're writing romance specifically like if it's fantasy it is what it is you know you doing a whole world building and all this other stuff i get it it might be more it still might piss me off but like i'm not gonna question your writing capability as much you know but if you're doing romance and it's over 400 pages i'm questioning your writing ability just a little bit because how can you not get your story across in like less than 400 you know i just i don't know i might be alone in that if i'm not please comment down below and tell me if you agree with me or not but yeah so anyways all that to say i'm gonna read crying in h mart <laughs> crying in h mart is done fourth book completed 
fifth book in this video. <laughs> We are finally at 19 hours. Crying in H Mart took um, almost 4 hours and 30 minutes. As you can see right here in the fifth one. I think it, I read like a minute to two minutes per page. At least that's what I'm assuming. But Crying in H Mart, I really enjoyed it since it is a memoir. Um, I'm not going to rate it because I don't really, I don't usually rate uh bi biographies or memoirs or anything like that it just feels icky <laughs> to me to rate like a person's life that means i have like a little under five hours left so i know i drew um icebreaker out but since it's over 400 pages i know for a fact i'm not gonna finish in five hours so, uh, we're gonna have to figure something else out. <laughs> Alright guys, I have been scouring my Kindle Unlimited uh, books because I'm pretty sure I don't have a short enough book physically. And also, I feel like it would take longer to just read it physically compared to my Kindle. So, <laughs> this book might seem random, but... It's called Arrogant Boss. So I'm going to read that because it's uh, like 247 pages. And my Kindle says that the reading time is most likely going to be like five hours on the dot. So, yeah. Finished with 30 minutes to spare. Arrogant Boss took four hours and 20 minutes. I give Arrogant Boss three stars. It was good. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. You know, I think the writing was a little too, a little too quirky for me. Well, not, I don't know. I don't know if I would say it was quirky. It just gave Wattpad vibes. So do with that what you will. <laughs> Um, but yeah, since I only have 30 minutes left on the clock, I'm gonna just end it here. What am I gonna finish in the span of 30 minutes? Please tell me. I'm pretty sure this is exactly how the video I did the first time of this little idea happened. I had like 30 minutes or like 15 minutes left on the clock and I just ended it. But I'm pretty sure I only read four books in that video. And in this one, I read five, DNF'd the sixth one, but yeah, so I guess either we're getting faster or I just picked shorter books, one of the two, but yeah. Well, that pretty much ends this video, guys. I read two physical books that have been on my TBR for a while. Well, well this one has. This was a recent purchase. So glad we read the recent purchase too. And something that's been on the shelf for a while. So variety. And then the other things were Kindle Unlimited. So that's great. Love to see it. And then one was a library pick from Libby. So yeah, five books fully read, six total, with the sixth one, me DNFing like 13% in. So does that really count? Probably not, but it is what it is. <laughs> it took up 35 minutes of my life, so it is what it is. Do definitely recommend seeing how many books you could read in 24 hours, but still being able to sleep because sleep is important and stuff so yeah i'm glad this video is finally over to be honest with you because i've been filming this for like two weeks <laughs> and i'm over it and i just want to read babble and call it a day <laughs> so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video uh like and subscribe follow me on my social medias and comment down below if you've read any of the books i mentioned i will see you guys next time bye